Up next, I'm gonna tell you my five favorite Montel perfumes. Get the question a lot, people asking me to do my top five, top 10. You guys know by now, I don't really do top 10s. I do top fives. Keeps it shorter and more interesting, I think, for you guys and for me. So coming up next, top five Montel perfumes. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And as you can see here in beautiful Miami, Florida at of course Osme Perfumery today doing my top five list of Montal perfumes. Montal perfumes, most of you guys know them. Great house, French niche house uh, that is, comes out, they're very prolific. Some houses maybe do one fragrance a year or even less than that. These guys do multiple. I mean, I think sometimes they do 10 or more new releases. So they're always giving you something, I think, for everybody. That's a great quality. Of course, for me, not everyone is gonna be a hit or a home run when you produce that many, but their quality is always top notch, especially considering the price. 100 milliliter bottles are under $200, so you're getting a great quality niche fragrance for an excellent price. But let's get right into this. I'm gonna go, starting at number five on my list, I'm gonna go five on down to one. At number five, I have Arabian's Tonka. Came out, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago on this one, and this is, uh, you know, just a beautiful Tonka-based fragrance, of course, that is fresh. It's kind of lighter, uh, you know, they have fragrances that really can go through the whole spectrum of really kind of darker ouds to really fresh, you know, more mild fragrances. This is a good combination because it's got that tonka, which is kind of like, you know, vanilla, like a little bit sweeter. So this is a little bit of a sweeter fragrance, but it's still very much unisex. Uh, wear this one myself, always have enjoyed it. Arabian's Tonka, try it, my number five fragrance. Number four, we are going with, of course, this beautiful red bottle. And this is, you can see the Oud Leather. I'm sorry, Oud Tobacco. Uh, hopefully I didn't give another choice away. This is Oud Tobacco. Uh, again, so now you're getting into one of their, their Oud fragrances and they do a lot of Oud fragrances. So it's always, uh, this one, it, it, it smells like the bottle. It smells, it just has a red vibe to it. It obviously has tobacco, it's got oud, but this is not a pungent oud. This is not one of their stronger oud fragrances. This is one, again, I think that's perfect for someone who's looking to, you know, uh, get into oud for the first time. Maybe you're a beginner oud fan. And this is one that it's, it's even kind of fresh at the top. And it's just, it just has that feeling of, of, again, it's hard to say. You know how some fragrances have a blue feel or a green feel? This has a red feel. Very cool how they did it. Uh, the tobacco is very nice. Again, comes in more in the mid note and dry down the tobacco. And also that's where you get a little bit more of the oud. But this is wonderful fragrance for those looking to try oud or if you do like tobacco fragrances. Go to my number three fragrance. And this is Amber Musk. Amber Musk. Another one that I gotta say, more on the lighter side. Interesting, the, the fragrances I'm picking today, we've got a kind of a mix here. But this is more of a lighter fragrance. Uh, the amber in the dry down is just exquisite and it also has that kind of sexy musk. Musk, for me and my nose, goes one of two ways. You have more of an animalic musk or you have a kind of more sensual, sexy musk. This is more of that sexy musk combined with the amber. This to me is the most sensual and sexy of the five fragrances I picked. Great one for men or women. Great one to wear in your skin when you're going on a date or you're just getting intimate with your loved one. Very good on the skin. I would call this one of those kind of skin scents from the sense that it smells like great skin. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you won't smell it. Some people associate skin scent with meaning that it only stays in your skin and doesn't project. These all have very good projection. 
and good lasting on your skin over eight hours on, on my skin. All of these here. All right, let's go down to number two. And this one was a little bit surprised when I was deciding my list. This one jumped out and I realized how much I love it. And that is Intense Cafe. I love a good coffee fragrance. Montal does a number of them, again, because they're so prolific at putting out lots of perfume. But this to me is my favorite of their coffee fragrances. It, right from the beginning, you know this is an intense coffee fragrance. It just smells to me like a good, high quality Italian espresso. I picture myself sitting there in Italy where I was a couple of years ago, drinking the best coffee with the barista at her machine and drinking that, just watching the coffee as it drips out and smelling that, just the espresso beans. That's what this reminds me of. Really nice. Oh, it's taking me back to Italy right now. You guys all know the power of perfume and memory and smell and how you can smell something and the smell will take you back to a place that you were in your past, like you were still there. That is exactly what's happening, happening to me right now. There was this little coffee shop that I frequented in Rome when I was in Rome for about a week and it just had the best fresh Italian espresso. And this is taking me back right there right now. So you can see how good of a fragrance Intense Cafe is. Lastly, my number one fragrance is, and I started to mention it earlier, or I might have mentioned it, and that is Oud Leather. Oud Leather. I love leather, I love Oud, and to me, this is just like one of the perfect combinations that Montal has created here. Just, in fact, I'm gonna put this one right on my skin so I can smell directly up the skin. I love this one so much. Oh yeah, it, this reminds me of a really fine suede leather from again, Italy. I'm picturing the inside of a Gucci bag or a Prada handbag or one of their leather goods, maybe their high-end leather attaches or bags that you would carry. Oh, it's just so yummy. So yummy. And again, the oud here is more subtle. This is not gonna be one of their more strong or pungent oud fragrances. This is a very good beginner oud fragrance. So that the, the tobacco and this leather fragrance, I think are great oud fragrances for those of you looking to try, trying to get into oud and see if you like it more. So there you have it. Look, I know Montal is very popular. Let me know what your guy's favorite Oud fragrances are, I'm not Oud, favorite Montal fragrances are. Let me know some of your suggestions. There's so many, the list really could go on and on, but I wanted to narrow it down to five today. Again, that I really highly recommend for you to try if you have not already done so. Okay, thank you guys for watching. And again, quick reminder, have you watched my show yet on HBO Max streaming right now? My mom, your dad, it's a really, really fun show about divorced parents trying to find a second chance at love and our kids are involved and they're pulling the strings and they're messing with us. It's just really cute and fun and a good family show. I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.